All right, so on this episode of Let's Check It Out, we're gonna check out these yurts out here at Red Top Mountain in Georgia. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you got two parking spots. The, yurt, the other yurts are they're spaced out pretty good. A little kick it area. A little creek, a little mosquito creek back here. Actually, the mosquitoes haven't been that bad. Look at that. That's your view from the back of campsite 19. You got a back door to the yurt. Yurt, I just like saying yurt. Catfishing poles does not come with the yurt. And then you got your whole campfire area. Campfire ring, great on the grill. Yeah, yeah. That's site 23. That one's by the water. This is site 22, looks over the water. Site 21 kind of looks over the water too. And then site 20 looks over the creek like ours. Let's go look at the back of site 21. Is somebody in it already? No, nobody's in this one. This is site 21. Looks over a nice little cove in Alatoona. So let's take a look at number 23. This is one of the ones that actually backs up to Lake Alatoona. Let's see here. Oh yeah. So this is the inside of 23. It's very clean. Oh, they even have, have a little broom. And this is what all of them look like and I can confirm that because ours looks just like this. You got the bunk beds want to bring your own bedding. Make sure you, it says that in the instructions to bring bedding and a pillow. Doesn't come with bedding and pillows. Got a little ladder going up there. You got your ceiling fan. Super awesome. I guess this turns on the light there. One of them turns on the fan. Oh yeah. And you got this couch here, or it's a pull out full bed. And also you need to bring your own bedding for that too. And you got nice updated air conditioner in here with remote control, which we're using over in ours. You got your back door, fire extinguisher, little uh, pantry to put your, uh, your stuff, your food. And then in here, just like in ours, I noticed there's one plug down there. Yep, down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's one plug right behind the pantry and then there's another plug right up here towards the front. This is the back of 23. This is your view. a little couple hundred feet down to the water and I know right down there is a good spot for fishing because I went and fished there last night caught a couple catfish it's got a little sandy beach down there it's just a little one not a huge sandy beach lots of rocks to climb on for the kids a lot of trails all throughout the back of the yurts here and each as you can see each yurt comes with a combination lock that only you get access to so if anybody like this little guy tries to come and get in your yurt and he doesn't know the code, he ain't getting in. Now 19, which is where we're staying, is unique in the fact that it has two spots dedicated to it and the handicap spot, but I think the handicap spot is for the whole yurt ring. I don't think it belongs to 19 exclusively. And you can see, I put my 16 foot bass boat in one spot and then I put my truck 
in the other spot and that worked out real nice. What number is that? This is site 20. 20. Yep, 20. Let's go look at site 20. What does it have in the back that's cool, buddy? Has the ground? Well, it's kind of a creek and a water view. So site 20 has both. You get a little cove view and you get a little nice little creek. And the kids have been having a great time exploring that boulder pile over there. What are you guys pretending to be bears? No, we're pretending to be lions. Oh, mountain lions. That's a great boulder pile for kids to pretend to be mountain lions. It's another bonus of the Red Top Mountain Yurt Ring. This is site 22. Ooh, nice view. Site 22 has a nice view of the lake. Super cool. So literally just a little tiny walk from the yurt ring is the bathrooms and they look like they are completely updated. They have two family restrooms with showers, men's. It's really nice. The grounds are really kept well. And the women's on the back here and another family restroom, which is great. And <clears throat> make sure no one's in the men's restroom. I'll try to show you inside there. Okay, and this is inside the men's here at the Red Top Mountain campsite, at right just a walk away from the, the yurts. Got a couple of stalls. We got three stalls and a full hot shower in the back here. Super nice, a little bench. Just everything you need. A little changing station there. Pretty clean too, I gotta say. Well kept. And there's lots of hiking trails here. So if you do come out and get a yurt, make sure you check out all the different trails. They're gorgeous. They're nice, they're clean. It's like everything else out here at Red Top Mountain. And just barely a mile from the yurt campsite is the Bethany Bridge Beach, which is amazing has ADA access ramps, picnic areas, nice sandy beach, and a nice view of the lake. That's been a lifesaver during our stay. <laughs> All right, well that about wraps it up for my tour of the yurt ring at the Red Top Mountain State Park in Georgia. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you got value out of this video and leave a comment in the description below if you've stayed at yurts and other state parks. I'd love to hear where some more are, especially in Georgia or nearby. So until next time, we'll see you around on Let's Check It Out.